In today's video I will show you how to install Parrot OS on your Android device. I will show you how to do it in two different methods. The first one is just restoring a backup file that I have created with all the configuration you are seeing right now with the Hub Devox theme. And the other one is doing everything manually step by step, so you will learn all the process. So let's see how we can restore the backup file that I have prepared. The first thing to do, as always, is go to my repository. I have updated it, so I hope now it's easier to follow all the steps. But for this video, we are going to go to the Pyroot section. Just click on the link, and here you have all the distribution that I have made a video about. We are going to click on Parrot OS, as we are going to follow the steps. And I recommend you taking a look to everything before doing anything. Just click on the first comments, we are going to paste them on Termus, hold the button, click on paste, and wait until the process finishes. Now copy the second comments, paste them on Termus again, and with that we are going to install Parrot OS as a peer root distribution. With this we can use peer root distro commands with Parrot OS. After the process finish, we are going to check that everything is fine. If you write PD list, you can check that Parrot is installed. And now we can restore the backup that I leave you in the description of the video. The process will finish and now we can run directly our desktop environment. We are going to use my star script as always, so just go to the repository, copy the commands I leave and paste them into Termux. When you paste them, you will see that Termux X11 opens directly with everything. So now you can start using Parrot OS with the Hack the Boss configuration. At the end of the manual process, I will leave you how to install different packages for web hacking, for Pound, for whatever you need with uh, Parrot OS. So now we are going to see the other backup file that I leave in the description of the video that is a bit lighter. So as before, we are going to use pd restore command with the new backup file and when it finishes we can start the desktop environment with the same script. You can go to the repository and just copy the last line, the dot slash start script. With that we are going to start again the desktop environment but this time without all the hack the boss configuration. So after the desktop is open you can use as a normal Debian distribution because Parrot OS is based on Debian and you can upgrade everything if you want with the command sudo apt upgrade or you can install for example the customization you prefer from the web page xfc for looks that we have seen in a lot of videos you can check if you want the debian neon desktop video to see how you can customize it but basically you can just use your parrot os as a normal distribution and now I will show you how to install everything manually step by step in case you want to learn a bit more. So again, let's go to my repository. Let's go to the pyroot section. You can take a look to all the distribution I have in case you want to take a look to Ubuntu, Arch or whatever. And also I have the chroot environments, but we are going to click on Parrot OS icon. Here you can follow everything. I recommend you taking a look to all, first of all. But basically you can copy and paste all the commands in the terminal. First we are going to install the basic packages and then we are going to install Parrot OS in the pyroot distribution list. Just paste the commands and let the process finish. Once it finishes, we will have a message with all the steps we need to do. Basically this is going to download Parrot OS. This can take a bit but not too much. And when it finishes, it will show this message. Run Parrot and execute the script that you can see. Install Parrot Desktop. So let's check that everything is fine. We root distro list and we are going to see Parrot here. So we can login into Parrot. To login into Parrot, we can do with just the command Parrot or we can use Pyroot distro login Parrot. I show you here both methods, just you can use the one you prefer. But once we are logged into Parrot, we can check that we have this script. Review the content if you want to see what this script does. But we are going to just execute it with dot slash install Parrot desktop. The process will take a bit, is a bit slow, but after it finishes, we will have everything installed. We are going to check that we have sudo install and we are going to create a new user, in my case, Droidmaster. 
you can type the password two times and when the process finish we are going to give this user sudo permissions let's modify the etc sudo rs file we are going to go down until we see a line for root and we are going to write exactly the same but just changing root with our username in my case droidmaster now save the changes and exit the period distro environment now execute the start script that you can find in my repository and we see that the environment doesn't work properly we have some weird characters and we don't have the bottom panel and the top menu to fix this we need to install lxdm package you can see the command in the screen and we need to select one of these two options we are going to select the first one lightdm after that i will show you a few commands i wrote in the terminal just to make sure that everything is clear the configuration files from xfc4 and i restarted the xfc4 panel after this we are going to restart the desktop environment so we need to close thermux x11 and we are going to execute again the start script so that way the desktop environment will open again but this time we will have the top menu and the bottom panel if you open the terminal we can see that we have still these errors to be honest i didn't find a solution for them but you can just clear or control it and everything goes well so now you can install all the applications you want for example you can install firefox with the command you saw and also chromium after finishing installing all the applications you can run them from the top menu for example check with firefox that you have internet connection you can open it and it runs pretty well so just write whatever you want and check that you have a internet connection for chromium it's a bit different because we need to add the no sample flags if you run directly from the top menu it doesn't work but you can run in the terminal chromium minus minus no sandbox that way we can run chromium without any problem check that everything is fine and you have internet connection and now we are going to modify the bottom panel to add the chromium shortcut so we don't need to run it from the terminal just click in panel preferences go to items and here we have different launchers we are going to remove the default browser and we are going to add chromium once you add clicking on the add button we need to click on the properties button and here go to the end of the line i just write the minus minus no sandbox that way when we click on the icon we can run directly chromium without running from the terminal and now i'm going to show you how to install visual studio code we are going to go to the official web page click on the download parts and here we need to select the proper dev file in my case arm64 because my device is 64 bits once it finished downloading we are going to open a terminal in the download folder and we are going to install the package with the command you are seeing right now to run visual studio code we need to do it in the same way as chromium with the no sandbox flag or you can add a shortcut in the bottom panel as we have done with chromium and just check that everything works fine now I will show you how to install all the customization that I have on the Hack the Boss backup. So now we are going to install the part of the stone mate. So this will install all the icon packages and everything we need to do the customization. Now after it finished, we can go to the settings, to the appearance menu, and we have a couple of tabs that we need to take a look at them. The first one is style. Take a look to all the styles available and choose the one you like more. And for the icons part, I recommend you open the file explorer so you can see the changes better. You can see that we have now a lot of different icon themes, so select the one you prefer. Apart from the icons, we are going to modify the Windows Manager, so let's go to Settings, Windows Manager, and we are going to select the theme that we prefer. This will change the top buttons, the minimize, close and everything, so just modify it as you like. And let's change now the background, just go to the desktop settings, and change the default folder to the background folder here you will find a lot of different backgrounds so just select your preferred one so after you play with the customization a bit you can have all the hack the boss customization theme and now after we have finished customizing everything i will show you how to search and download the security packages that parrot has like kali parrot os has a lot of different packages for security you can search for all the packages with the command you are seeing right now and you will have a list of all the packages you can install the one that you prefer with the command sudo apt install and the name that you are seeing in green and now i will show you how to remove parrot as this is a peer root distro we can remove it with the command pd remove parrot 
After that, we are going to give execution permission to the remove script with the command chmod plus x remove parrot and we are going to execute this. This is going to remove all the configuration that we have from parrot and we are going to remove parrot from the pyroot distribution list. You can check with the command pdlist that now parrot.os doesn't exist. If you want to add it back, you can execute again the setup script. So I hope you like the video and don't forget to subscribe. Also, leave in the comments the next distribution that you want to see in the channel.